Tulsa JMH can turn over a fake doctor roaming the halls. Tonight, the man accused of confusing a lot of people, at the very least, is talking about what he did. CBS 4's Hank Tester is at the hospital with what he has to say. He has a lengthy arrest record. He has worked in the medical industry and now caught walking through campuses, medical campuses, like Jackson Memorial Hospital. This is a real Jackson Memorial Hospital employee in a lab coat, but there was a guy on the Jackson campus who was not an employee and wearing a fake white coat. They have no evidence of me working with their patient or working with their lab or anything. That's Will Vince Bazil talking to CBS 4's Joan Murray saying, yes, he was at the hospital. This from Jackson. Jackson Health Systems has been working closely with community partners to identify a man who has been seen wearing an unofficial physician's lab coat at several local hospitals. He was spotted by our public service staff on the Jackson Memorial Medical Center campus and police were immediately notified. The man issued a cease and desist letter and trespassing warning. Jackson is taking this suspicious activity seriously and has notified the Florida Department of Health, which launched an investigation into the matter. If they had any proof of me working on their campuses, I think I would be in jail dealing with their patients. So they didn't have, you know, no proof of that. In the cease and desist letter, Bazil is told you have posted pictures of yourself wearing the doctor's lab coat online. Your illegal use of this impersonation will deceive and confuse the public, staff, and patients. You are directed to stop or face legal action. I told you I have a restraining order for you, um, until the investigation is over, and I have a restraining order from Jackson until the investigation is over. The folks at Jackson are said to have told Bazil not to show up at the hospital unless he's a patient. Bazil, a former healthcare worker, says, "Just want my all my licenses to be certified and everything to be clear." Still questions tonight why he did not get arrested for trespassing. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News tonight.